What's up everybody? Joe and Tanji. Elias and Tanji. Red Bull Drift Brothers, who after more than 10 years in the sport, way more than 10 years in the sport, we partnered up with BMW M, bring you a huge milestone, maybe the biggest for us. Definitely the biggest for us so far. Two new 2021 BMW M4 G82, 1000 plus horsepower, 1200 newton meter plus. Hey, how are you? Got to see the cars for the first time. Uh, only seen a rough picture from the rear end. And all the nice body parts and wrapping all of them. Really excited. And for the first time everything fixed. Hopefully. This look here. Preparation of cars. Can't wait for it to start. Are we ready? Yes. Is this real life? <laughs> not really, not sure. I mean, I don't even know which part of the car I like the most. exciting because I just did not have a chance. I seen all the renders, I seen, I mean I was involved in everything, but then seeing it in real life is just so much different. It's so much different. It was so impressive for me in a very emotional moment. Same here. So actually the cars were assembled basically minutes before they went mm -hmm. into the trailer, like two hours late already. <laughs> um, so we, yeah, we worked that night through again. Yeah, so arriving there, unloading the cars and going straight back to work to double check and make sure that we do everything we can. Because, yeah, obviously there were camera teams, photographers, uh, BMW M, Red Bull, everyone was there and wanted that we perform and, and do some really nice drifts with our new cars. And this was, yeah, quite some pressure. And one of the cars goes right back because it's leaking. We were back at having a problem with the power steering on my car. Luckily, it was just a small one. So it was a, a minor leak, but it was a leak. Um, the guys got it fixed real quick, pretty much. quite fast. Just a matter of how hard you want to fix it. Okay. I want to fix it really hard. <laughs> However, there were more issues waiting for us. And it was basically the kinematics of the front axle weren't working. We had issues with the Ackermann and... Ackermann is how parallel your wheels turn. Like one wheel always turns a little bit more. We couldn't manage to fix the problem totally on the first day. So first day was only still shots of the cars. And we had some guests on site yeah. um, already. Um, we had Mois and Revi there and we got to play around a little bit.
we decided to have dinner that evening. It was a good decision because it's been a while. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been, been a while. while. But after that, we all knew that we have to go back. We had pain mostly all our body parts. We've been doing night shifts for weeks uh, by then. Going there and saying, okay, we start from scratch again. We measure everything as precise as we can. We adjust everything as precise as we can. We look at every part again and see if it's in the right angle, in the right position and everything. Then we finish the night shift like, yeah. In the morning, I would in the say morning. in the morning. Sun was way up. <laughs> it was not too long until a lot of people were waiting for a final call. Is it working, is it not? And there was no telling. There was no telling. The geometry was one thingy, and then we had another thing to solve where there was no solution for it at this stage. Yeah. And we are talking about the morning of the last day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From, from the looks of it, from what I could tell from the outside, it was smoking. I'm so happy, I'm so relieved. It is an incredible feeling. We managed to get the impossible done again. So for the past four weeks, we are just doing impossible stuff and I'm not lying, I mean, yeah, but the guys, all the helpers got here is just incredible, like, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless basically, but I'm so happy because we finally, wait a what second done in that night was to adjust the geometry right again in the front. Um, we also implemented some safety issues or some safety features, let's call it this way. We found that the, the sweet spot where the front axle works is very, very tiny and we were close to it, but maybe not on point. That's why we decided to limit the lock that we have in the front to just make sure that we don't bend or break parts again. And we also got help from Spielberg, from the Spielberg ring. Uh, we could go to their workshop. Uh, Would not really have been possible without this <laughs> tiny little part to limit uh, the amount of travel the steering rack could make. Yeah, to lock stop, uh, to the full lock we had then. <laughs> that is not a maximum, but it was enough to, to get the filming done. Just in time, Just because in time, yeah. <laughs> while still working on the cars, Markus Flascher arrived. You guys were still working when he arrived. Yeah. But he was so super chill. Uh, he just uh, was excited to see them also. We talked a lot about the project. Uh, he's actually been following and been around the whole thing all the time. We've been in contact. It was amazing to actually meet up with him again after for the first time we met in Garching. Then he visited us here in the workshop and then have this milestone of the cars are there in their full beauty. I mean, it was so much fun to take Marcus along for a ride. It was his first time in a drift car in sort of a battle scenario where I was chasing Ellie. And I think, I think he really did enjoy it. Left to do was get him in the driver's seat. Exactly, so he did. as he's uh, more my size, he jumped into my car. <laughs> and I was very impressed with how good he adapted to it. Um, obviously, he has his background in regular racing and I was super impressed and now also understand why he took on this task. He's so quick in picking up stuff. He couldn't completely work against his instinct, instinct of when the car goes sideways, counter steering real quick. But he developed a feel for the car that quickly. It was really amazing. And I think he did enjoy that also a lot and got even more understanding now of why we are so hyped about it uh, by feeling, experiencing it himself. So it was awesome to have him. We had 
tons of fun. We had a super good time with him. We made it. You guys, the tech team, <laughs> all, I mean, all, all of us, all of us, all of us yeah. everybody did his part just in time. And as we entered the pit lane on the last lap, steering gave up. He <laughs> could only go in a straight line. He was cool, calm and collected off all the way. Okay, there's no more steering guys. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just in time. And now it's time to pick up the pieces which is work in process. You guys can hear it in the background probably. Everybody's still working on the cars. We have a couple of more days until we're off to the next venture. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, we're looking forward to all of you guys' comments and feedback on this project. And um, we'll take you along for the ride more, right? Yeah, and in case you haven't seen what we've done in the past, just look look here. Where was it again? Yeah, there. I think it should, yeah. Should, should there. Be there, right? <laughs> check it um, out. Check it out. There's the yeah history until now, and we continue to keep you with us. So thank you very much. Thanks, Don. See, See you soon. You.